Hi, welcome to this channel. I am a Japanese food navigator, Takeo. Hey, do you like sea bream? Japanese people are very familiar with sea bream and have many opportunity to eat it for celebration, sashimi, and sushi. They eat sea bream more often than people overseas, especially in the US and Europe. There are many types of sea bream in Japan. There is no country in Japan where customer can choose detailed type of sea bream when ordering at sushi restaurant. In this video, I'd like to introduce a various ways of eating sea bream. I'm gonna show you not only how to eat it, but also how to cook it. So please watch to the end. Okay, let's get started. I went to a local supermarket to buy a sea bream. There are many kinds of fish sold in this supermarket. I asked the person at the fish counter to remove the bones from the fish. The price was 1,000 yen or $10 per fish. I think it's a very reasonable price considering that you can buy the same amount of meat. To eat sea bream sashimi, you first need to peel off the skin. Use the knife to carefully cut it off. You have to be careful not to tear it off in the process. It was quite difficult, but I managed to peel the skin off successfully. The next step is to cut the peeled sea bream into bite-sized pieces and place them on the plate. Oh, don't forget the soy sauce and wasabi. Itadakimasu. It's great! Great, great. It's really tender fish. Let's put wasabi on top. Mm. Can you see it? It's super great. Really good. This wasabi goes well with uh, sea bream sashimi. Out of sea bream. Mm. The next is to make sushi. Sushi is very easy. All you have to do is to make sushi rice and put sashimi on top with wasabi. I don't have the skill of a professional sushi chef, but sea bream sushi is so easy that anyone can make it at home. Can you see it? Great. It tastes very good. It tastes very good. I'll put another wasabi on top. I love wasabi. Great. In this video, I'll show you how to arrange the recipe so that it is as tasty as possible, yet easy to make. You can also use tomatoes, olives, or other vegetables according to your taste. Chop the garlic. Cut into small pieces so that it can be easily cooked. Add plenty of olive oil to the pan. Once the garlic is cooked, add the sea bream to the pan. Grill the fish on both sides so that it is well cooked. Next, put in the shells. 
There are many different types of shells, but you can put in any of it you like. And white wine comes in. After adding it, cover with a lid and simmer thoroughly. If you overcook the fish, it will become tough and unappetizing. So, use a kitchen timer to keep track of the time. It's finished. See? Easy, right? It is very tasty. By the way, I'm gonna try an arranged recipe. Put nori, seaweed, and dried bonito flakes on hot rice, hot water, and season with soy sauce. And you have Ochazuke with sea bream. Mmm, most delicious. The next is to make taimeshi, sea bream rice. Wash the rice in water. Be careful not to wash it too much, as the nutrients will flow out. Prepare pre-washed rice, cut up sea bream, and soup. For the soup, mix one piece of kelp, 500 ml water, 2 tablespoons soy sauce, and 1 tablespoon sake. In this video, the soup is frozen, but there's no need to freeze it. It simply froze, because our refrigerator is too strong. Mmm, great. Next, let's make the sea bream soup. Sprinkle salt on the fish. In order to enjoy the natural flavor of the sea bream, only salt is needed for seasoning. Prepare the vegetables of your choice. This time, I prepared carrot, Japanese white radish, green onion, and tofu. Okay, that's all for today. It would be appreciated if you would subscribe to this channel and see other videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.